Hi guys, it's Jeff at Slavers Racing. And this video is about how to install a GET, a G-E-T, ECU on a 250 or 300 TPI, KTM, or Husqvarna model, the new fuel-injected two-strokes. So they're extremely lean from the factory. They run like crap. I know you guys are gonna argue about that, but I'll get more into that later. Uh, so this is just how to install it. Uh, we're gonna talk about tuning and all those things later in a different video. All right, so go right ahead, Tracy, and show us how to get that out of there. See, on these rubber things look like kind of tits sticking up out of there. You just push on them as you're kind of pulling up on the ECU, on the factory ECU. Just to kind of compress them so they slide through the hole there. There you go, and it pops out. And from there, you got to get the connector apart, and that's it's kind of a complicated little connector. You push right there. And you do that, that releases that piece, and then it allows you to un unconnect it. It's a real complicated looking connector, and it's hard to kind of figure out at first on how to undo it, but you just push that area back here, then rotate this piece, and you can pull it out. Do not yank on it, do not force it apart, it should slide right off very easily. So from there, we'll show you how to put the new ECU in there. So from there, you need to take a zip tie, get kind of a long one, and slide it underneath the entire wiring harness, the entire loom. And then, because uh, that's what's going to kind of secure the, the get ECU. So from there, it just snaps in. And that flips over. It's locked together at that point. So now we're going to take the zip tie, and smack it down there. And you know, it's, it'll wiggle around some like that. That's not a big deal. That's not a problem at all. Uh, there, are, there is no actual mount for it. Um, I guess you could even run something through here if you wanted to, but for right now we're just doing that. And we're going to, of course, trim this off. It looks pretty ghetto. So, um, I'll show you the next step. So the next things to install are the Wi-Fi um, box here. I don't know what the, how the real name of it is, but it sends out the Wi-Fi signal to your phone. And then this end, this wire right here, plugs in to the GET ECU. This is a different bike right now. We've got two bikes here side by side right now we're messing with. So this is the Wi-Fi unit. Uh, we've just got a Velcro it on right there. You, know, you can mount it in your air box. You can mount it wherever you want. Um, it does not have to be on there for the bike to run. It's just for tuning purposes. So uh, you could take it off later after you get the bike all set up the way you want it. So that comes with the GET ECU as well as a map switch. So that orange map switch right there. And then there's just a wire that runs from that map switch down the chassis back to the ECU. So now we're gonna go back over to the other bike and, and tell you a little more. So I forgot to tell you one thing about this uh, Wi-Fi box here. And that is you need to download an app onto your smartphone. Uh, they definitely have apps on the, on the app store for uh, Apple phones. For, for iPhones, and I think they have, have them for some Android phones, so I'm not positive about that, but they're definitely available for your iPhone. And that way you can do minor tuning while you're out on the trail. You can change it by 10%, is that correct? Yeah. So you can make it 10% leaner or richer while you're out on the trail. And you can leave the bike running, uh, just sitting there idling. It's got, it's got to have power, so you can just let it sit there and idle while you're making the changes on your iPhone. Or if you have this little dongle with you that comes with the bike, this should have been in the toolkit of your bike. This goes underneath the left side panel uh, where your air filter is. And there's just a connector under there. And that basically turns on the bike. So this acts like the bike is running. So it turns on the system. So if you're at home and you don't want it stinking up your garage, just plug this in and then you can make your changes. Okay, I'd also like to show you an alternative um, place to mount that Wi-Fi comm box. So on Tracy's bike, he has his mounted right here. He 
Don't put it in there. On mine, I've got it down inside of the air box. So there's kind of a flat spot down there and I just double sided taped it down there. And uh, you can see it's got the lights lit up right now because I've got the uh, dongle plugged in. But anyhow, that's just another location. You can just put it right down there on that little, there's kind of a little platform down there where you can tape it in or Velcro it in or whatever you want. Just another alternative. Underneath the seat here, this is about the only place that it fits. If you, you cannot put it here because the seat, you can see the little wear marks there, that's where the seat rubs, so the seat would smash it right there. So be very careful with, when you install the seat, also be careful with all these connectors. Make sure the seat is not sitting on top of them and smashing. So, uh, you know, don't damage your new product because that would be a big problem. Anyhow, so all I want to show you is just the alternative uh, mounting location. So the connector coming from the Wi-Fi, it says Wi-Fi on it and it's red. And that plugs into the connector that says, get this rotated right here, it says main. So the Wi-Fi plugs into the main connector. And then there's uh, this little connector. What does it say on there, Tracy? It says auxiliary, AUX. And that goes to the handlebar switch, the map switch. So that's really all there is to the installation part of it. And then we'll uh, make another video on how to tune it. That's all for now.